I'm Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Hero at the Fall by Alwyn Hamilton. This is the third book in a series, so my review will have some spoilers for book one and two. For those of you who haven't started this series yet, I will leave a link somewhere up here uh, about my review of Rebel of the Sands, the first book in the series. So uh, let's talk about book number three, shall we? In this third book, we start off at a point where Amani, who's our main heroine, hero at the fall, has to start leading the rebellion. You know, in book one, she discovers the rebellion. In book two, she becomes part, active part of the rebellion and their work. In book three, she has to lead them and it is not a position she's very comfortable with. She keeps just wishing. She keeps wishing that Shazad or Ahmed or anybody else is there to, you know, lead this rebellion. Also, they're a much smaller group, so well, it's up to mostly her to, you know, recruit people, find people to help them fight for the cause. And I think, for me, I enjoyed Amani's journey most in this book. She grows up a lot. Like, she has already grown up a lot. I mean, I, I think she was grown semi-grown up with the kind of life she's had. But it's this kind of journey from being a rebel and being really quite comfortable in the middle of the group to having to lead it and then actually becoming quite comfortable with that too. I can't tell you a lot. Like, I don't want to tell you a lot because I came into this blind. I hadn't read any reviews. I hadn't even read the back of the book. I hadn't even read the blurb and I really enjoyed it. It was a beautiful conclusion to this trilogy. I feel like the, the overarching storyline was just executed brilliantly and especially there's a scene at the very end and I, this is not going to spoil the book but for me th the scene made me cry afterwards thinking about it. It's a scene that really made me think about people. I know that sounds kind of weird and kind of vague but it made me think about people and how we perceive them and that the only thing we can control is how we perceive people and how we interact with people and that sometimes it's not enough and vice versa that sometimes people perceive things in a completely different way from us and and can fail us in that way and I for that scene alone I would just say read this book <laughs> um because for me it was it was beautiful I loved the ending I loved the resolution I loved everything building up to it like seriously this this book just yeah it, it was my favourite out of the three. I loved meeting Imani in book one, I thought it was great, and I loved the second book. It was lovely to meet so many more characters. You know, it, it's about war, it's about the messiness of trying to create something, and how there's always going to be losers on both sides. It's never going to be a simple solution. There are no simple solutions when it comes to, well, most things in life, unfortunately. I know I'm not super coherent about this book, but I think that is kind of apt because it just made me think a lot. I'm still sometimes thinking, especially about that one scene there, Owen. But yeah, I think I, I think I wanna like reread them and read them back to back because I think that'd be an amazing way to kind of be completely immersed into the story. There's so many different factors at play in this book and there's one big gin appearance, which, which happens quite early in the book so I don't feel like I'm really spoiling you, but I feel like you're second guessing yourself throughout, which is awesome. So there you have it, those are my super quick thoughts on Hero at the Fall. I could talk forever about this book, um, so if you've read it just DM me or something because I don't want to spoil anything because I feel if I talk more in depth about the characters and the relationships and the plot and anything like that I feel like I'll spoil something and I don't want to do that. It's one of those books. Trust me, you don't want me to do that. It's really well done. And I feel like I was guessing some things, but I hadn't completely figured out everything, which was awesome. And I really, really enjoy that in a book when I feel like I've been kind of misled. I know, I don't like to be misled in real life, but in books, yes please. So do let me know down below in the comments if you've read Hero at the Fall or if you're super excited about it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll talk to all of you very soon. Bye.